Hi guys, so here I have a Draper Expert 20 volt brushless 3 quarter eye torque impact wrench is the XP20 range to review and test. We'll see what it's all about. I've been wanting to do a review on one of these for a while. I think it's a quality bit of kit. 3 year warranty comes with two, this is the kit, so it comes with two 4 amp ampere batteries and a fast charger. This is the model 98961. So it's Draper Expert. 98961. So it's brushless. It's got four electronic torque settings, intelligent electronics, electronics marked reverse mode. We'll unbox it now. We'll do first impressions then on the quality and we'll try it then on a lot of different things around the farm here, yeah? on our tractor wheel nuts and stuff like that. And like I said, it's a three quarter drive, so we can go a bit bigger stuff with this. It's, they say it's a thousand sixty newton meter. It's three point three kilogram. Right, let's have a look inside then. Let's see what it's all about. Let's pull that off there. So, first impression. To what? Good strong case. Good case. Good quality case. Not soft at all. Not cheap. Good positive catches. Good angle. That's strange. All come separately boxed. I've never seen that before. Very strange. I've never seen that. Anyway, let's have a look at it. There's the gun. It's not as big as what I thought it'd be. It's quite a compact thing. XP20, that's nice on the back there, eh? quite a compact gun, nice big anvil obviously, a three quarter anvil, normal length, nice friction ring on the end of there, nice like rubber bumper all down the back there, eh? when you're putting it down, when you're putting it down on stuff, brushless, there's your four controls there, four modes. There's your four modes there. And a, a smart reverse, electronic smart reverse mode. But first impression, it feels well made. So it's quite sturdy, not too big in the end. There you go, you can see it there. Good bit of rubber strips on the side there, protection when you put it on the ground. Nice rubber angle, soft rubber grip, rubber on the grip. Yes, yeah, so I've never seen like this before, come with loose batteries and everything. The only initial negative that I'd say is obviously these are not going to be in the boxes. That's just one big open space. So that would just be bouncing about in there. What's the other thing I'm confused with? Why? Why haven't they got a the compartment sleep part to go in? Is it clip? Um, that's easily resolved by putting some foam in there, foam sponge, and cut it to the shape of the machine if you wanted to go to that extent. But uh, we pull it together and see how they, how they all fit in there now. Like I said, they will just move around then. In one sense, you could put more stuff in there, like some sockets and stuff like that, have your own choice. That's another option. So I might actually work better for it. We put the batteries on and uh, we put it all in there and see how it, how it sits in there. So look at these batteries then. See these batteries feel okay. Let's go your lights on the front. You charge on that one. It's on two bars. Four amp hour. Quite a good feel of them, i got to be honest. Good professional feel. Got a nice rubber, rubber base on it. Like a rubber bumper on the bottom. It clicks quite positive. It's quite balanced then. When the battery's on, it totally changes the machine. It feels a lot bigger machine. Just by the battery being on. i got to be honest. It balances it nice. It's still a top heavy. Because it's got a lot of weight in the front of you. Maybe the half inch is not so top heavy 
but let's look at the modes now then. Like I said, three quarters, it's going to be heavy because it's a big anvil in the front. Soft start, it's like a real soft start to it. Variable speed goes down to nothing. It's like nothing. Do it really go? I'll be honest. I'll do really wine on. I'm going to go your light. Good light day. I think that goes off 30 seconds after. So let's look at the modes now. So that's the smart reverse. I'll just press the trigger. We've got smart reverse. Pressed. Just stops. Oh wait, and it keeps going after slowly. So initially breaks off the whatever you're undoing, the nut, the bolt, whatever. And I'll just fire it back slowly then. I like that. Watch this now. Now that is one of the best things I've ever seen in real life. Otherwise they wound off and they always just well just, just come off in the socket. Sometimes you just want to wind them off slowly at the end. I like that. I gotta be honest. That's initially what a machine. Number one. Do a number one. Look at that. It's nothing. I can't get over how slow number one is. That's good for like sensitive or whatever. <laughs> really, really good. If we wanted to start a nut, start a bolt, or start the thread, you should do it by hand. But you could actually start it with that. Let's try number two. Number three. Good electronic brake as well. So it'll really go like that. With the wine. So keep your finger on it. Just hold your hand. Hold your finger on, tr on trigger. Let's be fair. Technology. Engineering now. That's second to none. I've got to be honest. Nice to see the emblem actually part of the machine. Not just a sticker or something. So that's good. Obviously, sticker on the back. So that's that. Very good. Thinking about the box now, that might be better. Because if you had few of these machines in you, you could put two in you. Two in you. Oh, God, that fits in me. It does fit quite snug. So until I put it all in, yeah. Let's say you had two of them. You could put two in there. You could you could put a few things in there. So there's no big uh, big drama. And actually better. So we've got a charger. So like I said, it's got a tool clip. If you want to put a clip on, a belt clip. I don't really bother with them. But I'd go on by there, like that. So that'd be on there. Fair or weight might not be hanging off your belt. So like I said, this is the XP20. They go up to six amp hour batteries as well. You can get for these. As I said, I've been really interested in this range for a while. We'll plug him in now. Let's see what I say. But if you're gonna put it back in there, let me lift it up and see if everything falls about. That's not bad really, I gotta be honest. You could live with that. You could live with that because it gives you an option of putting more stuff in. Yeah, that's no problem. What I thought was a bit of a strange thing in the beginning. You could actually stick a few other things in there. You've got extra batteries. This gives you more scope really. Use a comparison against my trusty old Milwaukee that I use around here. A fair bit bigger. With the battery on. A lot bigger actual motor and everything up here. 
pretty light difference. Like I said, I don't know, this M18 is not the, not the fuel one. It will stand up on the battery too. Bit nose, one one rocking on the front, it will pull forward because it's like nose heavy. But side to side, good. And my trusty old Milwaukee, it's only got 610 Newton meters. So if this is really, I've got 1060, that's going to be a hell of a machine. My trusty old Milwaukee, I've only got 610 Newton meters. So if this has got 1060, like they, they say, this is going to be a hell of a nut busting machine. Power's on, eh? Just plug him in. Let's see what, uh, what happens. Flashing green light. Charging. That's all. What I noticed as well, this to click in, this locks in. You don't see many battery chargers that actually lock in. Which is a good feature. So, in case the top not knocked over or something, battery's not going to half come in, half out. So, Nice and positive, locks in. So they do a four, two amp hour, four amp hour, six amp hour, and that's the fast charger. But overall, so far, without trying it yet, very impressed, I gotta be honest. So since 2008, I've been dealing with a shop um, as a tool account, as a weekly tool account. So I've spent thousands on Draper stuff over the years. Out of the tools I can buy through my uh, tool account, I can only buy three brands. Draper, Sealy, and the SIP. Sip. And to be honest with you, this is the best one out of the three. This just looked a quality bit of kit, and that's why I went on it. The supplier that I have, like I said, that's the only three options I have. But this, I honestly think, is a good bit of kit. I've been DraperTools.com. I'll put a link below. If this can beat that, in my eyes, you're on a winner. Because like I said, this has been a good gun. They've never been off in 20 years. I did try one there last week on my gun, but uh, you can imagine when I'm anyway. So, do if this one will, we'll have a look. Right, so that's on there, have to tap it on, be tight. Well, I can't believe that. I can't physically believe that. I'm just blown away. Let's try my other gun on here. The old faithful Milwaukee until now. Nah. Let's try this one. I just can't believe we've done that. Well, that'll have shocked me through to the core, that have. I was undone here. Effortless. Like if I'm lying. But I know it hasn't been off for 20 years. You might not believe it, I've never had a puncher. 20 years on that wheel. Never had a puncher on the other side either. Like the next contender for the gun to fight against is the Zeta green nut. They're actually small nut. With a big thread, see ya? Big diameter. So I've never had my gun would undo these. I'll show you first with the Milwaukee. I'll fire him on them and you see. Get the right gun. Nothing. Zilch. Let's try this one. Absolutely made it look comical. Oh, I just can't believe what I'm seeing. Well, that one. Like I said, I've never had a gun ever, A or whatever, to undo these. Well, 
that have blown my hat clean off. Holy wheel, seven off ten eh? Seven opposite side on this side, so we go full throttle to the right. I've been off for years this wheel. I make love down to me. Effortless, absolutely effortless. Turn my gun, should I have just slacking that off? Makes it look like funny. Unbelievable gun. Try this last thing by now. It's from the 50s. It's never been undone. So I don't think it's going to undo it. Even if it's got as much power as I say. There's an inch and a half nut on the top of there. Let's get it gun and uh, just have a laugh. Let's we'll stick it on and see what happens. And like I said, I'm not too uh, optimistic that I'm doing this. It's like 50 year old, 60 year old, or oh, older. I can't believe that. I can't physically believe what I just saw. I, I can't believe it. I, I just, I just. How can it just, how, how can it do that? I can't even talk. How can it physically do that? I'm just shocked. I mean, just, just in shock. What a, what a beast of a thing. Well, that's it. Now I'm going to show no more. That's me done. There we are, guys. I've used this impact now for the last two weeks. I've tried on lots of different testing off camera, and as you can see on camera, it blew me away. Um, I just can't fault it. Literally can't fault it at all. There's a few little things like I thought were strange in the beginning. Like why is the box just just an open one piece compartment? And most probably it's just one box for the full XP20 range. So it saves a mess with boxes in. But I think it's actually better because if I was going to get another battery or bigger battery, a 6 amp or battery, you can just put more stuff in here. You can always put a sponge in there if you really wanted to do it tidy and drop them all in. Might even do that. But like I said, I just can't fault it. As I mentioned before, I buy a lot of Draper stuff. I spent thousands over the years and I'm going to carry on with this range. Draper Expert, I love their sockets. I reckon they're right up there with quality. And I've been looking at these for a good impact for a while, watching different ones that they have. And once I saw photos of this, I could, I could just tell that it was, it was well made. So if someone's looking for a good impact, I really recommend this. I, I just can't highly recommend it enough. Like I said, realistically, it needs an extra test. It needs a time test of how is it going to fare in everyday use, like in six months, I'll come back and just see how it fares then. And I think it'll all be exactly the same, or even a year, and get some bigger batteries. I am going to get a 3.8 version as well, and a compact half, I'll just get a full set now, because uh, now I've seen this one. But um, I just can't fault it. So I will come back in six months and do a six monthly review of it. What I find with a friction ring is hard to get the sockets on. I got an old Batua one year and I just struggle like hell to get it on there. 
can't get on. Let's say like tap it. I don't even want to do that. Then we've got more of a chamfer on the back. It goes on the right. Go out. Without a chamfer on it, more like a flat socket, they add it to start onto the friction ring. And then we could tap it. Yeah, you can tap it. You could tap them on, but that's the only thing. So is that little gripe? Most probably with time, that'll just go a bit soft, a bit weaker, and the sockets will go on. The other thing is you can't press the select button. You just pick it up, right, what power do I want? Number, th number three, number four, whichever. Right, just put the power on. There's nothing there. So you can actually press the trigger first, then you can uh, adjust your settings, pick which power output you want. That's the only thing. There's nothing really, just touch, touch the, the trigger first. She done half singing number four. She's sweet. Well, I can't believe it. I have done the tractor wheel nut after 20 years. The old Ferguson potato spinner. I just can't believe that. That's from the 50s. You saw that yourself. I done the nut. I'd have to get oxyacetylene any other way until this, uh, until this impact gun had come along. Battery won't gone down a bit. Still on two. That's the only other thing, maybe it doesn't stay on, you could hold it on to look at it. Some of them you press it and it stays on for a few seconds. That's nothing, you can literally just press it and see what it is. Battery is nice and secure when it's on there. I've had nothing come off. It feels well made, good thick plastic. I give it a bit of a test in. And like I said, just uh, everything seems awesome on it. Like I said, the only real test, fair test, is over time. Six months, we we'll come back and do a review on it. I'm gonna get an half inch one and a three eight one. Like I said, I got a connection with Draper, a supplier. That's my normal tool account. So I'll order some more of these in, and uh, I'll order some more of the small size in. I might even do a a, a big video then on on the XP twenty range. So uh, let's see what happens there. I didn't do no scientific torque wrenching up to see if it'll undo it. All my nuts are rusty. If they can undo it, that's as much torque as they need. I'm sorry, but I'll tell my Milwaukee that this Draper Expert have took his place. The Draper Expert, the XP20 range, so half inch and three quarter high torque, 20 volt brushless, like I said. I think that both models are the same actual case. Just different anvils on the front. Very similar power too. 1000 newton meter for the half inch and 1060 for the, the three quarter. So, like I said, you could basically put this one as an half inch kit, uh, demo as well. Well, there we are. Nothing else more to say. Big thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Plenty more like this to follow. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.